Hi everyone, it's Varhandela, Angel Therapist and Spiritual Personal Trainer for this week's Energy Forecast and Angel Reading. And uh, what an interesting week it's been. So I asked the angels what did they want me to talk about this week and um, it seems as though that many of us at this particular point are going on through some sort of healing journey on a personal level that seems to be surfacing in terms of conflict and the emotion that seems to be escalating at this particular point in time is anger and that anger is just coming out and um, in all sorts of ways and so it's it's cumulative right now and being impacted and felt by not just individuals but by collectively a large number of people and so the angels wanted me to say how this is the time to start really working on ourselves and go into a deeper um, dialogue with ourselves and examine our behaviors, our patterns, and the ones that aren't working for us anymore because um, unfortunately it's causing some distress in our lives and it's escalating in the form of conflict as a result of this anger. And so there's a, a theme from this week's reading that links all three cards regardless of which card you picked is that it's time to let go of those emotions that are no longer serving you and so the first card that said is a reminder to be the observer in the situation that you're having and see how it is presenting itself and just step out of the picture because this situation is really to get you to see that it is an opportunity for you to forgive and that can include yourself um, or a partner or a family member and um, forgiveness doesn't mean that you're letting the person off the hook but it just basically says you're willing to let go of that part of you that's holding on to that part of them that is no longer healthy for you through the emotions of anger and other types of emotions that are causing toxicity. So really, this is an opportunity for you to forgive because it's not serving you to continue to stay angry. And blame never solved any one situation or problem. So when you are willing to forgive, what you're saying is that you're will, willing to release that part of you that is holding on to something that isn't serving you and um, and seeing that other person for the love in them that exists that is the love in you but um, it's also about setting boundaries and this week has also been about boundaries for many of us keeping selfie healthy and safe boundaries so forgiveness doesn't necessarily mean allowing someone to continue to be in your sacred space or perhaps redefining what that space looks like. So um, that's card number one. And uh, I know how challenging this is. And trust me, I'm just as much of a teacher as I am a student. So I understand this reading is just as much for me as everyone else. And so card number two is... Um, the angel saying to see only the love and so you have one of two choices at any given point in your life and that is to choose the path of fear or to choose the path of love and when we fall into fear or fear-based emotions such as anger um, it's very negative and that negativity only attracts more negativity and so as awful as the situation may seem as hard as it may seem when you start to choose the path of love, you are letting go of the possibility of attracting more negativity. And so it is just as much as healthy for you as it is for everyone around you. Because when you choose either emotion, it will always impact you and everyone around you. So taking responsibility for the energy that you are bringing out into the world is really important because your world will always be reflective of what you're projecting but everyone's experience around you will be also be influenced by that so it, there is a ripple effect here is what I'm trying to say so um, that's card number two 
And finally, card number three, steady progress. The angels want you to know that it's time to give yourself credit for all the work that you're doing. This is not easy stuff. And um, there's no reason why you cannot continue to look forward optimistically and choose to um, see the potentiality of turning this situation around and making it a better one. But to do that, you need to recognize that you are doing a great job right here, right now. You're doing the best that you can. And that everyone is doing the best that they can with what they know. But the angels want to acknowledge you for all the work that you are doing. So they're patting you on the back right now. And I see lots of angel wings spreading around, giving you angel hugs from your guardian angels. So just know that you're never alone. You're always, always, always guided, being protected, and being supported. You just simply have to reach out and ask your angels for help. But your angels want you to know that you are absolutely doing a great job, okay? There's definitely challenges that we all have to face in life, but uh, know that in every point of our lives, we are being carried, we are being supported, and we are absolutely loved. This is for Handela, for your own personal angel reading and um, um, spiritual personal training session. Feel free to contact me either here on Facebook or on my website at www.farhandela.com. Know that I love you very much and I look forward to connecting with you here again. Till next time, angel blessings.